Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, we give you an abort system for the space shuttle because it it kind of needs one. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at three main phases of flight or to do the abort. So first one's on the pad. Uh, second phase is gonna be during the first few seconds of the flight, like probably the first 30 seconds. And the third phase is gonna be a little bit later down in the flight uh, while the SRBs are still attached. So um, let's get started. So this is gonna be a little bit different format of the video. We're gonna basically just see trial and error, right? My different plans or ways of trying to do the support system. So essentially, um, yeah, we're trying to find those three main phases of flight. Um, these are all basically for before SRB separation because after SRB separation, um, if you have an engine failure or something, you can basically, it's not that hard, you can just separate the orbiter um, and then you're all good. When the SRBs are attached, things get a little little cray cray um, because the space shuttle didn't have the return to launch site abort mode, which is basically if they lost an RS-25, they could make it back to the launch pad most of the time, you know, um, or to the launch, to the runway basically. Um, that's not really practical if you have like a catastrophic failure as we saw with you know challenger so um our goal is basically you know what if you lose like a what if you lose maybe more than one rs25 or what if an srb goes wrong or yeah stuff like that you need to like quickly get the crew to safety so that's basically what you're gonna be focusing on so uh, as you can see i put those little srbs onto the bottom of the orbiter that is going to be for our, our third abort phase which is going to be later on so basically what that'll do is it'll pull the uh, capsule or the the, the the orbiter away from the orange Tank. But our first test, as you saw, I put those Sepatrons onto the, uh, onto the, um, onto the, basically, the cockpit and then a decoupler. So basically what's supposed to happen is this is in the middle abort phase. So later, when, so around, uh, just over 15 seconds in the flight, or I guess not 15 seconds, um, I'll activate the, uh, Sepatrons. This is a first attempt, so things are not going to plan. As you can see, everything's already spinning in circles. We have that parachute, so basically that's the idea, um, of this this middle abort system there's gonna be another one mainly focused on the pad abort which is the, the first one so um this is a decent system probably need to drain a little bit of fuel in the srbs uh, or the sepatron srbs basically um because we want the power to pull it away you have to see how our angle shows both pulling up and out so it's gonna you know escape and also you know go up and out so it's, you know, yeah it does its job right so we can go give it another test here um don't don't mind the crash starship unrelated <laughs> Very un definitely unrelated crashes. And there we go. See, that is more like it. That's what we're looking for. So this was the easiest, basically, system to set up here. Um, and we'll get ready to deploy the parachute. And like to quickly say, while we're parachuting down, if you're enjoying the video, you could, OMG, hit the subscribe button. OMG, join our Discord. But yeah, and honestly, thank you, everyone, who does support the channel, especially those who uh, contribute to the monies, like the, the members and the Patreons. You guys really are the best. The bomb! And uh, yeah, um, so cool. Let's land. Um... <laughs> And it's a little bit hard of an impact, but basically you're, you're down. But uh, um, you know, I decided to decide, try something. I tried to both jettison those side SRBs, basically to detach the orbiter and the Sepatron at the same time, and you'll you'll see what happens. Uh, bad, 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 bad. Yeah, we whacked, and the, the orbiter is spitting. It's bad idea. Bad idea. Bad. Don't do that. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the Sepatrons. Um, my, my idea was maybe if the, the, uh, those SRBs are pulling away from the, the orange tank, it'll get us a little more distance to keep it more safe. But yeah, also here's where I realized that those SRBs burn for way too long. So yeah, I definitely want to drain the fuel out of those a little bit. Um, so basically, this is our, our middle abort system, basically fully functional now. And then we can get ready to uh, start to think about our pad abort, which is definitely the most entertaining of the abort. Not really entertaining, but the most... High G maneuver, probably. Um, actually, I don't think it is, to be honest. I think the, the third phase, the the one that's like an, over a minute into flight, that one's actually kind of nuts. So, um, my, my plan for this one was to basically put some SRBs onto the side, and then these would be detached right after they're no longer needed. So, about 15 seconds into flight, um, basically, when this abort system, when, when using the Sepatrons is a better way to abort, um, I'm just going to be detaching those. Uh, those SRBs away from the orbiter um, so then you don't have the drag and the weight is gone and um, you can still do the pad abort. So here we go, we're gonna do a test and... Yeah, so those aren't, those aren't nearly powerful enough. Um, so I went ahead and swapped them out here. You'll see during the crossfade for a little bit better. There we go, that's more like it. Uh, e ooh, ah, crash. Okay, so lesson learned um so those srps definitely have the power but they are not angled correctly so as you saw we kind of pitched forward and like just whacked into the orange tank very safe obviously so 
I went ahead and angled them out a little bit, and we could do another test, and that is more like it. And that's only pulling around 4 Gs, which is, you know, it's manageable, you know, for however many seconds. Also, by the way, the, the hair, I don't know what mod gives the Kerbals that hair. I don't like it. I did not approve, but whatever. Um, so we can go ahead and detach the, uh, the SRBs. And then we get ready to pop the parachute, and then we can land it in the ocean, which is a very safe place. And then the uh, crew will get rescued by whatever rescuing mechanisms will come save them, I guess. So um, that's basically our paddleboard worked out. Um, now we have the, the more, the most interesting, the most epic, the mid-flight abort. So here's what we're going to go ahead and try right now. So get the engines up, get the thing detached, and now we're going to start heading up uh, to our our abort point so um basically looking for about 15 seconds into flight and we're going to be detaching those side srvs because we won't need the pad abort motors anymore because we're not on the pad so basically right now we are in the there they go we are in the um the sepatron phase so if anything goes wrong now uh, we'll be getting ready for sepatrons and then right uh just around 40 seconds into flight we're going to switch over to the the, the the orbiter detached so basically what happens here you will see in just a second and there it goes. We so we separate the or, the SRBs, push it away, pulling around 10 Gs, which is very not comfortable. But basically, um, the idea with this one is we're at enough altitude, so if we can just basically pull the orbiter away, uh, we we will have enough glide ratio to be able to, to fly back. So this is basically a return to launch site, but a little bit safer because you you don't need the orange tank with your with the normal RTLS. You need the orange tank so um, to basically do fuel. So um, it does this this system does add a little bit of weight with those SRBs, but I don't know safety man um, something the shuttle desperately needed. Um, so here comes the gear. Come, we're gonna be landing a little bit long, but uh, it's a long runway, so no, no problem. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Was this a butter? Is this butter? Eh, it's all right. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, I think this is a fairly practical design. Um, let me know what you think. I think, I mean, you know, if it, if there's any ways that I did something stupid, if there was something unsafe, let me know because I, mean, I probably did something wrong. Uh, <laughs> there's probably a better way to do this, but uh, I mean, this seemed to be a way that worked for me. This seems to be a safe-ish. Um, mechanism of aborting uh, the space shuttle away from uh, crashing rocket stuff. So yeah, uh, that is going to, as you could tell by the black screen, uh, the list of channel members bring us to the end of the video. So if you're a channel member, thank you very much for being said channel member. If you want to become a member, you can hit the join button below. You'd also become a Patreon if you want to do that by um, going to the link in the description. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. So I would like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment the video once again. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. And bye.